Hi everyone, welcome back to the Sofa Cook. All right, let's be real here for a second. As a vegan, Indian food is seriously heaven. Majority of the dishes are already vegetarian, so all you have to do is tweak it a little bit to make it vegan and according to your own liking. Now, Indian food is not only full of so much flavor, it's packed with nutrition. Lentils, beans, chickpeas are great sources of protein and fiber, just like potatoes. Which brings me to today's video, Indian Railway Style Potato Curry, also called Dari Bale Alu. Now my husband and his family are originally from Bombay, and every time they have this dish, it always reminds them of their time on the trains back in India. Traditionally, this dish is made with puri or deep fried roti. But since we're making this completely oil free, you can easily pair it with your favorite kind of roti or vegan naan. I personally like to make this with daldi roti, which is just cooked lentils, gram flour, and corn flour mixed to form a dough. The combination is seriously so yum. I think it's safe to say that Indian food is known to be very oily. And I mean very oily. I've been cooking oil free for almost over a year now and honestly can't taste the difference. For today's recipe, we are actually going to use a little bit of water instead of oil, and this is going to help us saute and cook the veggies and the spices properly. As with all Indian dishes, spices play a huge role. But the best part is you can adjust the spices and the kind of spices that you use to your own preference. I always encourage you to play around with Indian spices to see what works best for you and your taste buds. All right, let's get started. Here's what you're gonna need to get started. Four large potatoes cut into cubes or any desired shape of your choice and I have used Yukon gold potatoes four large Roma tomatoes pureed, one jalapeno or you can easily use a serrano pepper instead, just keep in mind serrano pepper is a little bit more spicy, one and a half tablespoon of mustard seeds, one tablespoon coriander powder, one teaspoon red chili powder, one teaspoon garam masala, a fourth teaspoon of turmeric powder, one and a half teaspoon of cumin powder, salt to taste, and one and a half tablespoons of ginger garlic paste. First thing you want to do is get your pressure cooker and have it set on high heat and then add your mustard seeds. Then we're going to start cutting our jalapeno pepper or serrano pepper if you're using that instead. And I like to cut these in really small pieces. The smaller they are, the easier it is. Um, last thing you want is big chunks of jalapeno and your potatoes. Once you're done cutting your jalapeno, you're going to transfer it to the pressure cooker with your mustard seeds and you want to make sure your mustard seeds are crackling before you put in the jalapeno. You want it to make sure it's hot because we're not using oil. You want to make sure it's hot before you put anything else. Now since we're not putting oil, we're going to use water instead. So what I've done is I've just put water in a squeezy bottle. That way it just makes it easier to squirt water and I don't overdo it. Now we're going to add our ginger garlic paste. So that goes in. And you want to give that a good mix. Make sure there's no large clumps of the ginger garlic paste. It's all smoothed out before we add in our tomato puree. Now 
and you want to mix that in and make sure the mustard seeds and jalapeno mix are well incorporated with the tomato puree there's no chunks you want it to be very smooth then we're going to start with our spices in goes the coriander powder cumin powder garam masala red chili powder turmeric powder and then adjust the salt according to your own preference and then mix that up and make sure it's well mixed you want to make sure all of the spices are cooked thoroughly before you add in the potatoes this is very important and again you can adjust your spices however you prefer we're going to add the potatoes And we're going to make sure that all of the potatoes are covered with the tomato mixture. I've used four large tomatoes here. If you want, you can easily add more puree if you want. In goes the water. Uh, I've put two cups of water, but you really just want to put as much water as it takes to cover about an inch above the potatoes. Make sure everything is nice and mixed. Close your pressure cooker and you want it to cook for four whistles. Once the four whistles are done, turn off the heat and let the pressure release on its own. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put the heat on. Medium to high is fine. Don't put it too high. You don't want anything to stick to the bottom. And we want to make this a little bit thick. We don't want a runny gravy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start mashing some potatoes and this will help thicken the gravy a little bit. You don't want to overdo it because you do still want some nice big pieces of potatoes. But what we're just going to do is we're just going to take a couple at a time and then just start mashing them. At the same time with the heat on it will make the gravy a little bit thicker. And again, you can adjust it to the consistency you like. If you like it a little bit more watery, then you can add more water. If you like it a little bit thicker, then you can just keep mashing until it's your desired consistency. So I like it a little bit thicker, so that's why I'm just mashing a little bit more. This is the consistency I'm looking for, so I'm going to turn the heat off. And that's it. It's that easy. There you have it. Oil-free potato curry. Now that you know how easy it is to cook oil-free, you should try it too. If you do end up making it, let me know how it turns out in the comments down below and post it online and don't forget to tag the soulful cook please give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe hit the bell icon so you can receive a notification every time i post a new video if there's something you would like me to make leave a comment down below on what you would like to see next thanks for watching see you next time